What is up, players? It is I, Commissar Bane, and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Today, we're going to look at a couple of friends of mine. It's the Death Corps of Krieg, son. You knew we'd be back. And here we are, getting all up in that Forge World resiny goodness. So stay tuned, because there are many more Death Corps of Krieg videos on the way. Yeah! That's right, players, we are getting into the Death Core of Krieg, that giant box O resin from Forge World. So this is the Death Core of Krieg command squad. You've got four sprues. The thing they don't include, well, I, don't, I guess this one didn't come with it, so uh, either my the previous owner had it and took it out, or I just didn't come with it at all. It didn't include a pull for the banner brass rod, so all you have to do is get a brass rod, use it as the banner. Uh, that's the thing with these Forge World resin models; they didn't come with. Uh, they don't have like the straight banner that these, or the the rod that these banners attach to. Other than that, everything comes. Everything that comes with the the squad you see here, and so let's take a look at them. First, let's start with dessert, shall we? As Sean Gately likes to say, the uh, company commander here, this guy with a huge great coat and very elaborate decoration, is um, very nice. Look at his helmet, it's got a cool little crest on it. All these guys have rebreathers, and um, he's got his hand on the pommel of his sword. He's got a nice little, oh, they all have nice little sashes across the front. Maybe that's to indicate that they are company command squad uh, members. And he's also got, it looks like some some medals pinned to his chest, I'm not really sure. Uh, he's got like a lanyard around his one arm. Oh yeah, here are the medals on this side. Woo, beautiful. Uh, a lot of flash as you can see, but I mean the detail that you get with Forge World is just so unbelievable. The guy next to him is just a standard Kriegsman, as well as this one. They're both looking in separate directions. Torsos come attached to the legs, so very cool. Here you've got two other guys. Um, one of them has the, you could tell is the Vox operator because he's got a little earpiece right there. And um, then you get the standard. So the standard has a bunch of skulls, a shield, a couple of purity seals, and two banners with which you can do your own freehand writing or design or anything like that. So that'll be that'll be cool. Then you got two sprues. This one over here has uh, what looks like the I guess this is the cable that connects the the Vox to the Vox operator's ear um, because I I would say maybe it connects like the last guns, but no, that's that's not it because there's only one of them. Then you've got uh, this one over here. Maybe this is for the medic. Actually, I'm not really sure what this one is. It's like a hand attached to a, to something. Looks like he's pulling a lever. You've got a holstered last pistol and an empty holster. So that's for the hand. That's for the guardsman who has the hand holding the last pistol. Then you've got a right hand with uh, the hand, a right arm with the hand up. You've got a right arm with a hand kind of bent, both of these kind of bent, and then you've got a, oh, oh sorry, uh, what am I doing, I can't be tired, then you've got a left arm here with armor plates, which I love, and uh, no hand, so that attaches to this last gun, because you've got a hand here but no arm, so that's where that arm goes, your other Guy gets uh, this standard las gun for the Death Corps, and then you've got the unholstered last pistol, like I said here, and the Vox. So let's double check that we have enough. We've got five figures, but the company commander here has his arms, so we're looking for four pairs of arms. So you've got one here, two here, a left arm. A left arm, a right arm, and a right arm. So we do have enough to build these guys up. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the boring job of taking these guys and cleaning them, cutting, snipping them off the sprues, and um, showing them separately, and then I will glue them all together and kind of talk about how I plan to put them together. Um, so basic ideas for color schemes though is I'm gonna stick with this, the color scheme that I have been. Fortunately, I was painting these guys with the old Citadel paints when I came up with this test figure. So I, it hasn't been hard to find substitutes though for the new paints. Um, and I, I think I can get pretty close and accurate to this uniform. Don't have to look at the horsey, I'm just talking about the, the rider. So we'll be able to do a tutorial with him soon. So thanks for watching everybody. I'm going to jump ahead to the next clip and we'll see you there. And we are done. Here is my command squad all built up except for standard. Um, the standard is going to go on this guy, but uh, there was no rod that came with this package. So I don't know if even Forge World includes one. And um, when I purchased this, the uh, guy that I bought it from didn't include it with the, with, with the package, but this is how it will look. The cool thing about this standard, one of the cool things is that um, it includes all these little skulls and I mean the, the banner just flows so nicely. Some of the bad things about it though is it has this really janky pair of spear tips on either side and as I was building it, it came up really bent. So I, I put it in hot water, bent it really slowly to get it to, to conform to, you know, make it straight and one of them still broke off and it looked really, um, really silly anyway. So I just snipped off the other one. I'm going to possibly add um, plastic spear tips to the side later, but it seems to look okay as it is now. I like to think that these nine skulls here in the middle might be from former corpsmen who were a part of the either the command squad, maybe they're former, um, ooh, former like company commanders or former captains. That's pretty grim dark. Um, and yeah, but that's that's that. Let's take a look at each of the men now. So speaking of the standard bearer, here is our one guy here. He's got a, his last pistol out, empty last pistol holster. The only p piece in the kit that you get extra is a last pistol here in a holster. And when you look at the Forge World website, there's no place for it to go. So I was thinking of just giving this guy, like gluing it to the back here and having this guy be like some... <laughs> like dual last pistol wielding like pew 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 kinda kinda soldier. There we go. <clears throat> um very cool. Alright, second guy let's take a look at is the Vox Operator. Now the Vox Operator I didn't notice because I was looking at it from this angle, but it's actually a little like I don't know what you call that, like a little, uh, he's got his little iPhone there. So that'll be a cool little thing to draw the screen onto. A uh, really uh, fiddly bit is this wire cord, coil. Mm. Sorry about that. And um, you just want to make sure that when you're gluing it to both sides, even I, I can see now that I'm looking at it close up, didn't get it correctly aligned, but you know, that's okay. Um, and then his hand is up to the, the headpiece here on this side. The cool thing about this, uh, these guys that separate them from regular Death Corps of Kriegsmen is that even the regular Lazgun bodyguards have this sash tied around their, their um, breastplate armor and just the detail on it is so, so nice. The way it flows, the way you can see where it's knotted, um, just the level of detail looks really, really nice. I like these two riflemen bodyguards, but I wish there was, and there had been an option to do a, uh, a medic. That would have been cool. A guy with a, a medipack. But what's, one of the cool things about this guy, these guys are that the, um, I think the Death Corps of Kriegs at ease squad, the squad that where they're not running or, or sprinting forward or firing their weapons, but where they're just kind of standing looking really awesome, tacular, are the best models and these guys kind of um, reflect that. 
last but not least is the big cheese himself, the company commander. This guy was the easiest to clean. Um, didn't really have anything except he, there was this piece of flash between the sword and the foot. You can still see there's a, a mold line there that I have to trim down. But um, that was it. There was a little bit of flash right here where the eagle meets the helmet. So you just kind of want to scrape up there in there under the beak to give that little hook. And really though, that was that was it. Just love the detail of this um, of this guy. It looks really fantastic. And like I said, the the great coat wrapping around. You could see his his arm underneath on this side. You could see his hand underneath on that side. But still has this really nice shadow. Um, really really loving it. So this is a great squad. Uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out and uh, I'm looking forward to painting it. So let me know what you guys think and if you collect Death Corps of Kriegsmen, um, what your experience has been building, painting, any of that stuff. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Latest players!